Hey, what is up, guys? Jacob Rothenberg here. What I want to talk about today is my October earnings with my new Amazon KDP account. And the theme of it is going to be something that people usually don't talk about on YouTube, which I'll explain in a bit. So for the entire month of October, I did get a late start in having my first book published. And as we can clearly see here on my dashboard, I have an overall lack of meaningful results at all for October because I literally just sold my first two copies on the 22nd of the month. So I made $7.60 gross with my new Amazon account in October. And that's not even profit because I've been running ads. I'm not even going to show the ad dashboard. Um, I've, I've lost like $10 overall starting up my new business this month, not including the production of the book, which I'll even show here. Um, I spent a few hundred dollars having this book made, I think like two, 210 all in. And um, I'm running ads, I'm getting traction, so it, it is starting to pick up a little bit, but this might have to be chalked up as a flop. And I do know why it has a lack of results. Um, and I explained that a little bit in my prior video. I might have gone a little bit too broad with my approach on this keyword, so I'm going to tweak it, and I'll explain how I'm going to take care of that with my future works and take this into hopefully um, from being a failure to a success in terms of brand building. And on a broader theme, guys, what I want to talk about to you is, you know, it's so easy to just see a lack of results when you're starting out in this business or in any business and get discouraged and give up. And I've just worked with so many students. Everyone is so discouraged when they haven't made a million dollars with their first book. And that's just not the right mindset you want to have when you're approaching this business or starting any new business. You've got to pay the tuition, so to speak, with learning a new skill set and making a new business work in your favor. You don't just give up after publishing your first book, not see results, and then decide, oh my gosh, I, I didn't make a million dollars. I'm not going to publish any more books. So what I want to talk about is how to turn a defeat with your book launch, with starting out in publishing overall into a victory. So... If you're someone that's just starting out, this is a good video for you to watch. If you're someone that's been discouraged from maybe having published a few books for a, for a while but haven't seen meaningful results, uh, hopefully this video can troubleshoot some things for you and give you some ideas on how to reverse your outcome. So uh, everyone talks about success, but no one really talks about the failures that can occur in publishing. You know, everyone just is flexing how much they're making, how well they're doing. Everyone's crushing it on social media. But we never talk about our failures or our lack of results um, in publishing particularly because this is a publishing channel, I suppose. Uh, I'm willing to talk about it even as someone with almost six years of experience. Uh, I've published over 120 books at this point. And yeah, even though I have experience, I still fail with book launches, especially with uh, this kind of keyword. But uh, I do know what I need to fix, and I have a positive mindset on what to do going forward and uh, make this new, well, not I guess not a new business, but make my second business on publishing a successful venture. And, you know, let's be honest, like some people get lucky. I consider myself lucky with how I started off. But most publishers are going to have a slow start scaling from scratch. Uh, a lot of people make maybe a few hundred a month the first few months. It's very rare, actually, for someone to make over, I don't know, 4000 a month uh, within their first full year. Uh, was I, I was able to do that, but I consider myself an outlier and I got lucky. But... Uh, the reality is, guys, despite what you see on YouTube, most people start with very humble beginnings with their publishing business. And having a slow start and not seeing results is the number one reason why uh, people never reach success in this business. Remember, guys, I've been coaching 
For a while now, I've worked with literally hundreds of students. I've seen thousands of publishers come and go, uh, whether it's in Facebook groups or on social media overall. I can tell you definitively, I know this for certain, the number one reason why people quit is just they just give up too soon before they give themselves any chance of reaching success. All right, so I've talked about this before. I know some really hard cases. I can even name them. A healing comes to mind very clearly in my head. Shout out to a healing if you're watching this. You can have a publisher that just had zero results, like zero results for the first two years. And then with just one breakthrough, heck, even just with one lucky book and some keyword, you can just change all that. You can make 3000 4000 a month and absolutely change your life and it negates all the prior failure you had in publishing. So don't give up too soon. There, like, there is a proven blueprint for success. That's why there's all these courses on publishing. There is a path to success and everyone's trying to sell you on it. Hopefully we can get you there sooner than later and with spending less money than more. So if your first book flopped or if your first book and a new keyword flopped, what do you do? Well, first off, you want to figure out why did your book fail? Was it the lack of marketing? Did you lack reviews? Did you run ads? Did your ads get impressions? Did they get clicks? Did those clicks get sales? Figure out exactly where your book failed. Maybe the keyword that you were in just sucked. Maybe your keyword that you research just has all the books with a 5 million BSR. And no matter how good of a book you put out, it's just not going to sell. Because if you have a book on how to underwater basket weave, and it's the best book made ever for that keyword, but no one is interested in that hobby, you're not going to make a single sale. So it's very, very important to be critical, be constructive, and be honest with yourself. Why did your book fail? Now with me, with my maze book, I know why it, so to speak, failed. I think I can reverse it, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, but I think I was just too broad with how I created the concept for that product. And going forward, I'm going to go more long tail. I'm going to have a more specific approach to the theme of mazes for this brand. So that's what I'm going to work on. And likewise for you, you need to figure out what you need to work on. Now, if you don't know why your book failed, hey, if you're new, that's okay. I mean, sometimes it's hard to figure this stuff out. Feel free to ask for feedback from a peer. If you're not, I mean, even especially if your book failed, like your keyword is worth, it's, just, it's not, it's worth, it's, it's worth sharing. You shouldn't hide that. Like, Go ahead, just publish, a, like link your book on a Facebook group related to publishing, whether it's mine or even someone else's, it's all good. Uh, just ask for feedback, like, hey guys, I'm a new publisher, I really want to make this business work. Here's a link to the, my first book. Um, I was really hoping it would succeed, but I just haven't seen results. Could you constructively critique why you think this book uh, failed, why it isn't making sales, or what can I do to improve it. So um, you're going to get at least a response or two. Um, oftentimes, honestly, guys, I've seen questions like that before. And when I click on the product link to the book, I can tell within a few seconds why the book failed. Um, so there is going to be a reason why your book failed. There's usually always a reason. And even if it's not inherently visible, like ads or a lack of running ads, we can figure it out very quickly. So you want to ask for feedback. Now, something I was alluding to for a little bit, you want to try to salvage your book by making improvements because just because your book didn't get any sales for the first seven days doesn't mean that it's GG, game over, you wasted your money, kill yourself. <laughs> Maybe I should even say that on YouTube. But <laughs> you, there's, you can still change the outcome of your book. Maybe you realize like, oh, my cover kind of sucks compared to my competitors. Well, I can just reinvest another five, ten dollars in making a new cover, even twenty dollars, and I can still change the outcome of this book's launch by providing a new cover. Oh, my description has a typo in it. I need to fix that. That'll salvage the results of my book's launch. Well, 
Sheesh, I have only got one review. All my competitors have 20. Let me get five more reviews. Let me hit up friends and family, social media, and try to get a few more reviews. So, yeah, always try to salvage the launch of your book. It's something that's very common on the higher level, especially in like something like fiction and romance, where you make tweaks the first two days that your book launches if there's a lack of results. Just because, you know, let's be honest, guys, unless it's low content, producing books on Amazon can be expensive and you don't want to just completely throw away your money. So whatever way you can do to salvage the launch of your existing book uh, can, is great. So consider that. Now, something that I've had to work on myself too, I'm a very impatient person. I'm very type A. I'm kind of a jerk. Uh, but I've realized doing this business, sometimes you just need to let algorithms optimize. You need to let Things breathe for a bit. Give, especially if it's if you're in nonfiction, give your book like at least a month to gain traction. Because yeah, you can run ads, you can bid high, and you might not see results the first two weeks. But you know, once your ads do get optimized, it can shift from making zero sales your first two weeks to making twenty sales the week after. It's something that I saw personally working on a journal idea with a student where we were running ads at a loss for two weeks. It was like $20 loss. It wasn't huge for her. Um, but after we optimized the campaign and got things going, despite almost giving up on the journal, like I honestly almost gave up after two weeks of not getting any sales, we startlingly started seeing a surge and a huge spike in sales coming from our ads. And that book is now, I think it's peaked out at like a 10,000 BSR, which for me is not great. I don't consider that something I'm super proud of, but you know, it's still like making that student $300, $400 a month. So that's still uh, significant overall. So, you know, don't just give up on your book the first week that it launches and then you're like, oh shit, I didn't make any sales my first seven days uh, time to pack home pack things and go home like give give things at least 30 days i would say now deciding what to do next because yeah uh well if you can't salvage the book and your book failed well where do you go from there and what i would say because i'm in this predicament myself if the market demand for your book is strong if you've thoroughly researched the keyword, you know that there's a strong sales demand for it, you know you can run ads, you know you can get visibility, what you should consider doing and what I'm going to do is continually uh, continue publishing another book in the same keyword with either better production and or better marketing. So if you think maybe the content in your book was like a deterrent for getting sales, uh, improve the cover, improve the actual content within the book, improve your sales copy, your description, improve your A-plus sales page if you want to do that. Like Just work on providing a better production. Even your title is still super important, so you can work on that. Likewise, and this kind of ties into what I just said about production overall, but better marketing. You know, If you can run a more aggressive ad campaign than what you're comfortable with, you know, if you're if you're only comfortable with spending five dollars a day on your ad for something like mazes or something super competitive, you're not going to get very far <laughs> with getting traction. Let me tell you, um, you might have to push it a little bit. I'm not saying go for broke, but consider increasing your budget from five dollars a day to maybe ten, fifteen dollars a day, and just let those impressions and clicks come through. Bid a little bit higher if you need to, to get impressions and clicks. If you're not getting impressions at all, you definitely need to raise your bid. So troubleshoot what you can do to make your next book in the keyword a success. Likewise, if you find out and determine the market demand for your book is weak, like if you have a book on how to make money online selling ibuprofen, well, that's never going to sell. All right, so in that case, you would never make a sequel for that. You would never publish another book in that keyword. You'd want to consider pivoting to another keyword altogether. So in that case, 
you do need to just find a new angle, find a new keyword, a new concept, and repeat the process of what you've learned with uh, pre-production and making sure that what you do publish can make sales. Last, always continue to develop your external assets. This is something that coaches don't really talk about for beginners because it's a little bit hard to do starting from scratch, but I'm going to talk about it, um, especially for me. Look, I'm starting, I'm starting from scratch, guys. I have no like I have no tangible advantage over most of you guys, except I have a review team still intact from my books. That's it. Like that's all I've got left on me starting from scratch. So you can do it too. Find some people on social media that are interested in your book. It can be your mom, your dad, your cousin, the cousin that you're married to. It doesn't matter. Find like two, three people to review your book. Having three reviews is infinitely better than having zero reviews. Get it done. And whatever you can do to facilitate having all of your books in perpetuity, being successful with promotions, such as having a review team, a social media page, whether it's a Facebook group, Instagram page, and so on, continue working on that if you're really taking this business seriously. Uh, If you want to be making six figures with this business, you are going to have to develop external assets and an overall infrastructure for your publishing business. So that's about it, guys. What some people might wonder is, Jacob, how the heck are you going to go from $7 to making any meaningful income from Amazon? Like, are you washed up? Are you going to retire? Are you no longer worth a damn in publishing? And what you need to realize, guys, is I never play fair i've already got a book well actually a series of books lined up that i've planned all along that's gonna crush it and i'm gonna talk about that next month once the november sales come in so it's gonna be out relatively soon i know it's gonna crush it i was have had a plan b an ace up my sleeve and that's gonna be something that i will not share openly as a keyword on YouTube. So stay tuned. I've got more coming. Hope you enjoyed this content. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Take care.